This segment deals with the hi-hat. And let's start by talking about how do we actually play the hi-hat with the foot. Well, from my experiences, there are three basic methods. One is more of an old school way where drummers would rock their foot back and forth, up and down, kind of like this, where the foot is coming up over the, on the hi-hat pedal. And if you look at videos of some of the drummers that played with Count Basie or the way Mel Lewis plays, he rocks his foot back and forth, even some old videos of Joe Morello. When you look on YouTube at the drummers, you'll see that that's one way of the hi-hat rocking back. And to me, it's a very grounded way of playing a chick on the hi-hat. Mm, chick, chick. It's a real solid way. The second way... Um, is a way that I basically normally play, which is with the heel up. Um, and when I play, and we'll, when we take a look at the, f at the bass drum foot, you'll see the balance, but I usually play with heel up on the hi-hat and heel down on the bass drum, which is slightly off balance, but that seems to be the way that's the most comfortable for me. So when I play with the hi-hat, I pretty much have my heel up and the, f and the toe on the footboard like this. You can see my, my heels kind of rocking in time. It's just like a bouncing uh, feeling that when you play the hi-hat this way. But it's a way that I can really control it in sort of a loose, relaxed way. But once in a while, when I'm playing jazz, I might go to the old school way just because it's a little bit deeper sounding on the chick. The third way some drummers play is with the heel down completely and most people I know don't use that but you can actually play with the heel down uh, and it does work sometimes. So those are the three basic methods. Uh, another thing tip that's interesting is if you take a look at videos of the great drummer Tony Williams you'll notice sometimes when he's playing fast with the hi-hat his left foot bounces back and forth like this. That to me is similar to what I do with the left hand when you bounce back or if you see Zakir Hussein, the great tabla player, he kind of moves his hand like this. It's breaking tension and the same is true with the foot. When you have to play really fast, you can do that and move the, the hi-hat foot back and forth. So those are the ways of playing with the foot. But the way I use is pretty much with the heel up and making a chick and you'll notice from these videos that that's how I play it. Now let's talk about how you actually execute a, a beat on the cymbals. The hardest thing f that I see for uh, students to play and uh, the up-and-coming drummers is to play an authentic swing beat on the hi-hat. 90% of the people that come for lessons or come to University of North Florida or that I see, especially the youngsters, don't really get a great swing sound. What you want the hi-hat to sound like is this. What it usually sounds like is this. Da, 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 da. College level students, a lot of them do this, and you have to call attention to the fact that it just doesn't swing. It's a subtle difference. It's ding, ja, da, ding, ja, da, ding. As opposed to... That's how most people play, and you've got to get it to swing. That's the sound you want. And now you can play it either with your foot or with your hand. It's a little easier to control with your hand. That's that dancing swing on the hi-hat. So that's the main thing. Those of you watching this, especially of uh, you aspiring drummers who don't play that much jazz that want to work on this, make sure the hi-hat is swinging. You don't want da. So many people sound like that, and we have to work on that constantly. So that's the thing, making it swing. Now, you can take a lot of variations. Some of the drummers uh, you'll see from the older schools, Joe Morello and uh, Buddy Rich, you know, would play underneath the hi-hat. You know, things like that, or kind of tricky things. Max Roach used to do something on the side. 
that kind of stuff. Dom Famulero uses it when he plays. You know, a lot of different tricks you can use with a hi-hat. But to me, the main thing is to get a good chick sound, be able to control it, and be able to swing on the hi-hat. 